Budgeting is the most effective management, planning, and control tool. In Section B, you learned, or you're going to be tested on how well you learned, how to put together a budget. That's the planning part of the planning and control tool. In Section C now, we're going to analyze results compared to our budgeted estimates. And we do variance analysis. This part is how we analyze performance against the operational goals. What are the reasons for these variances and within the performance monitoring system? You're going to be able to prepare a performance analysis by comparing the actual results to what was estimated in the master budget. And you calculate then favorable and unfavorable variances. So therefore you're going to have to convert the master budget to a flexible budget. You're going to have to know the benefits and limitations of measuring performance by comparing the actual to the master. Therefore, it's okay if we're talking sales output, but if we're talking input, then you have to convert the master budget to a flexible budget and base that flexible budget on actual sales volume uh, compared to what the master budget would have been if we knew what the actual sales volume would be. So this is very important, could be tested in the essay part of the exam, could be questions in the multiple choice question part of the exam as well. Sales volume variance and sales price variance, that's easy, that's just comparing what happens to the master budget. Now, you're going to focus on that flexible budget variance. Uh, I can't emphasize this enough, but we're going to look at the inputs, direct material, direct labor inputs, and overhead into the production. So you're going to have to analyze budget variances um, against the standard cost system and reasons for adopting a standard cost system, but you're going to have to know price variance and efficiency variances for both direct labor and direct materials. Okay. Spending and efficiency variances are for the overhead. Now, that's kind of difficult for them to test you on that. They may give you a multiple choice question in that area, but there certainly wouldn't be an applications problem. Uh, sales mix variance, that too can come in in terms of multiple choice questions. Uh, but in terms of an essay problem, no, you focus on up here the variances in uh, direct material and direct labor. The overhead spending variance and efficiency variance, know the terminology and what they're about, but you're not really going to be asked to calculate that. I cannot believe they would do that. And also develop I, um, causes for these variances and maybe recommendations. So have this in the back of your mind. What causes a direct material price variance? What causes a direct labor usage variance? And so on. And how are they connected? So those are some of the ideas. Uh, but again, this section is very important. Flexible budget analysis. So go over that a number of times and we'll do a couple of problems on that.